What up, Bucks fans? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of y'all just coming off that Saints game. And if y'all tuned into my video earlier, whether you're a Saints fan or a Bucks fan, I told y'all, man. It's both teams definitely are feeling a little rusty. But we're gonna focus on the Bucks, man. Um, obviously, great first drive, drove right downfield. Brady punched it in. But as time went on to tell, this team has not gelled yet. There's no chemistry here. We're going against a team that has all the chemistry in the world, been, been with each other for years. We're having a quarterback learning a new offense. Uh, there was definitely a lot of miscommunication with Brady and the receivers, Mike Evans, um, OJ a couple times, and it took time for offense to actually develop. And I mean, overall this game was good yet sloppy because the only time we really moved up field was when there were penalties. Um, I was happy to see a little bit of Rojo show some positivity, some growth. Um, I'm going to highlight the offense, by the way. Uh, we saw a little bit of Fournette and uh, some Shady. Um, Scotty Miller. Scotty, Scotty Miller is going to be that new element for Brady. Gronk still trying to shake off that rust, which is expected. Godwin in the beginning came up. Mike Evans was abysmal. Mike Evans could have just taken this game off because um, – you know, he was good to have out there as a distraction, as a big target, but he didn't get anything until garbage time for that, that touchdown. Um, but uh, this offensive line, Tristan Wirfs, you're a rookie. You went against a vet in Cam Jordan, a pro bowler, a guy that's great at his job. Donovan Smith, you, sir, have no excuse. You got your tail whooped again and again and again. It was just every time... There was pressure in Brady's face. You were on your ass, your stomach, or just looking over your shoulder. Because that's what happened. You got turnstiled again. Worf, you held your own. You did get beat, but you're a rookie. You didn't get any playing time. I mean, you didn't get any preseason time. It's expected. Um, again, Brady needs time to gel with this team. Same with Fournette. M M McCoy. But I did see some positivity in Rojo. His offense has potential to be great. Great potential to be great. <laughs> um, defensively, uh, I mean, if you looked at the numbers, man, we held down these people. Like These people don't really have outstanding numbers. I mean, other than Breeze, if you want to say. But Michael Thomas didn't go off. Um, Jared Cook was the biggest receiver. And then, of course, Kamara. But if you think about it, the only times they really scored is when they were put in those great positions by the penalties we caused. Um, that big one that was obviously a BS call with Bunting and um, who was that? Was it Whitehead back there? That was that was a bogus call in my opinion. Um, Dean, I don't know what you were doing in that second half. You, you, if you're playing man, you cannot let a you cannot slow down a play at all. Just cover him. Like Jared Cook, that play didn't have to happen, but he let Jared Cook beat him. And then right after that on the other end, come on, man. Like, Emmanuel Sanders couldn't have scored. You know, it, it was just like a gimme. I did highlight that in my preview that the secondary was going to be the areas that I was going to be concerned of, and that showed that today. But ironically, we held down the big receiver, Michael Thomas. Emmanuel Sanders didn't really show up till later in the game. So their receiving game didn't really turn up until Kamara or Cook or Taysom Hill came in for a gadget play, which happened later in the game. But... They, if we eliminated penalties, that would have taken away a good portion of their touchdowns. You know, at least at least a touchdown. You know, um, that pick six by Brady, just a bad a bad play design that was read by Janoris Jenkins. You know, there's no, you can't say nothing better than that. That first interception was just error on Mike Evans. Again, Mike Evans not not coming in on that play. Um, you, they just need to get together. They need to gel, man. And then of course. I know, I know Isaiah's talked about this. Isaiah's mentioned this. The special teams will be the depth of us if we cannot get it together. We made our extra points. We, we made the field goal. We got one blocked, but we shouldn't have even tried to kick that field goal in the first place. I was really thinking why. It's a long kick. It's, it's, it's why. We should have just punted, and that field goal had no chance. No chance. If your field, if a, if your field goal is blocked where the ball is in the player's chest, not even the fingertips, that tell you that was a bad idea. Their special teams just flat out dominated ours, man. And then of course that pooch kick with Mickens and Mike Edwards just 
I literally laughed, laughed when that happened because that's just inexcusable football. There should have been better communication on that. Got it, Peter, something. Better communication, but you, there was no communication there. They both tried to make a play when it was unnecessary, and it led to them getting great field position yet again and getting points. This game came down to who had better field position, and it happened because of boneheaded mental errors and special teams. On fourth and two, Vita Vey jumping off sides. You're, if you're a nose tackle, it's D lineman one on one. You don't move until the ball is snapped. And if you're the nose tackle, you're right over the ball. You should not be jumping off sides. You shouldn't even be moving once that, unless that ball twitches a little bit. But that was inexcusable. That definitely was frustrating. You could tell Tom was frustrated. All of us were frustrated as fans. This team still needs to work on discipline. So three areas that need to be corrected. Secondary, mental errors, offensive line. I mean, those are my big three. I know special teams is one, but um, those, those penalties are the ones that got me the most because that put the Saints in the best positions to put points on the board. Um, Tom Brady learning a new offense. He wasn't going to be Tom Terrific. I don't know. I, I, know I, I don't think it should be a surprise that people were. Let me rephrase that. I wasn't surprised at his performance. He's doing what he can from what he knows. And over time, this team will get better. This is technically the first game. It's a preseason game, but yet it counts. So when we won the Super Bowl, we lost the first game to the Saints. Just Let me just put it like that. And I'm not saying we're going to the Super Bowl. I'm not looking that far ahead. I know my colleague is saying Super Bowl or bust, but I'm just putting it in the perspective of it's going to take time. And without any preseason, without any real-time action, and I mean, I was scared a few times how many times Tom Brady got hit or sacked. We can't let this happen for 16 games, man. We cannot let Tom Brady get hit like that because he may not make it. And I know we do not want to see Blaine Gabbard out there. <laughs> we all know we don't want to see Blaine Gabbard out there. Tom goes down, we might as well just say, well, early draft pick again. So let's, let's avoid that. I hope that we can develop. We have... Carolina next week? Is it Carolina? I don't remember. But we got to get it together. We finally got some action today. Um, here's from improve for improvement, y'all. You know, we finally got some action. We got to see what we're looking like. We can, we see where we're str strong. Defense still looks good, in my opinion. For the overall perspective, defense looks good. Offense has a lot of potential. So that part I'm excited on. But we got to do something about Donovan Smith. He can't be left tackle. We got to move him somewhere else. Secondary is going to get better over time, but they have to be stronger. But I do want to shout out Winfield Jr. Winfield, my man, I'm so glad we got you at number two. You're definitely doing the damn thing. You're holding it down. You almost got your first career pick, but I saw you around there, man. So I'm going to give you a good shout out for that. Um, I do want to give uh, some shout out, a shout out to Rojo because I definitely have my doubts with you, but you're showing improvement. And I'm happy to see that coming from you, my man. And then Devin White, Levante David. I'm going to tell you all right now, with these primetime games, if we can start winning some games, Levante is going to be a first ballot Pro Bowl person, a Pro Bowl player. No, alter no alternative. He's going to be first ballot linebacker in the Pro Bowl that he should be because he's so underrated. These primetime games are going to definitely give him the spotlight that he deserves. But this defense, man, I like this defense overall. Just got to get that secondary a lot better. 0-1. Uh, I mean, we went we 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 go one and zero against the Saints to start the season off before, and we've had the same turnout. So I'm not really stressed about game one, y'all. Especially being the first, I know I'm repeating myself, but again, live action. Um, for the first game, though, I would give it definitely a C plus because we weren't too bad, but we weren't great either. You know, I saw a lot of bright spots, and as long as this defense can come together. And we get that secondary down pat, we're going to be a great team. And the offense is going to get it together. Best believe. With all these weapons, we have no excuse to not have an offense. And it will just come down to our special teams at the end of the day, but that's important as well. But we all know that everybody's tuning in for a time terrific in the first place. That's why we got five primetime games. So I'll take this loss on the chin. I'm not too stressed about it. I'm happy that we got some football right now. So Bucks fans, Travis signing out. Shout out to Isaiah. I saw you doing the game live. You're probably saying a lot of the same things I'm saying. But um, game one's down. On to the next one. Go Bucks.